Alrighty then, this would be Malone's Commute Podcast number one. Um, don't look at the camera. Okay, so this is like an experiment. Uh, I have about a 40, 45 minute drive to work every day, there and back. And I thought, well, I'm just sitting here driving. I might as well be talking, right? So uh, I consider myself kind of a morning person. And so uh, I leave the house about 10 after 6 or so. i got to be at work at 7. Um, anyway, so I posed the question out on Twitter yesterday after the stream. Would you guys listen to me talk for eh, probably half an hour or so? I don't want to make them too long. Um, it's going to take forever to upload. And I changed uh, the camera to uh, 720 720p so maybe it'd be easier file upload but anyway uh yeah you guys said eh, I'll listen to you sure uh but the audio quality is going to be number one concern because i know a lot of people will just listen and not like particularly like watch you know but um i tend to watch podcasts um even if i just like have it on and i'm not like fully engaged uh, watching the video but uh, the audio is the biggest concern I looked for my um, you know like they saw the little the ear the ear jack thing with the mic um, I'll have to look for that and see test it out with that um, but uh, yeah so here we are I have a, uh, a very nice drive to work I don't really consider it a commute because when I think of commuting, I just think of driving in the city, you know, bumper to bumper traffic. I have a very nice commute to work. It's nice and easy, not much traffic. Um, so uh, anyway, I, it's a commute. I mean, I'm driving to work and it's quite a distance. So anyway, today is uh, Wednesday, I don't know, June something. And, uh, yeah, I'm in the Ford Escape. It's a beautiful vehicle. I got 81,945 miles on it. Just got an oil change. An oil change. And, uh, I tend to get my oil change every 3,000 miles because that's what my dad told me to do when I was a kid. <laughs> I think newer cars now, I think some of the cars now can go up to like 7,000 miles before they need an oil change. I don't, I just use conventional. I'd get it every 3,000 miles. Good maintenance on a vehicle. It's going to last you. Plus this thing's paid off. So, uh, if I spend a little extra money on some regular maintenance, it's going to make this thing last a long time. Hopefully, I usually drive vehicles right into the ground before I get a new one. And I've never bought an actually new vehicle, because that's just dumb. Maybe someday in the future. Um, but yeah, I tend to get a four or five year old vehicle. And uh, this Ford Escape, man, it's nice. I like it. A little mini SUV sitting up high, you know? So, it's done me very well. It's done me very well. I just got new tires on it. Uh, anyway, uh, yeah, so I guess it's just me rambling. <laughs> And uh, for safety purposes, I'm gonna try not to like look at the camera. I mean, it's an easy drive. You know, there's not much traffic, not a whole lot going on. Um, but uh, yeah, safety is number one priority. And uh, so, I'm just gonna, as if I'm just chilling, talking to like a passenger in a car. Um, not gonna worry too much about looking at the camera, obviously. But uh, yeah, if I can figure out. Uh, good audio. Um, I think this might might work. It may be a good release for me just to chit chat, talk about things, what's going on. Um, not a whole lot going on. I know um, today's just a normal day for work. Uh, I usually have to be at work at 7 a.m. So, like I said, I got to leave at like quarter after six or so to get there on time. And uh, it's pretty much just country roads, back roads. Um, and it's easy. I, uh, I was a little worried because me and Samantha moved in together after we got married, which is coming up to a year already. Uh, one year. Where's the camera? There it is. One year 
I'm sitting at a stoplight. I can look at the camera. Uh, one year, June 23rd will be our one year anniversary. So it's coming up. We don't even know what we're gonna be, what we're gonna do. We're looking at to go like a, on a little vacation, some sort of celebration for our one year anniversary. I can't believe it's been a year already. Um, so we were looking to get away for a, an extended weekend or something. So if you guys got any good suggestions on where to go or what to do for a, a one year anniversary, let me know. I got my big beefy, big beefy coffee. The longer the commute, the more coffee you need. <laughs> but um, yeah, that's coming up fast. So we probably should have planned something already, but we didn't. And uh, it's been a year already. And we we didn't live together until after we got married. We made a point to do that. Um, I think it was definitely the right decision. Um, people are so quick to move in together. Hey, we've been dating for a month. Hey, why don't you move in? Financially, it makes sense. Yeah, well, you know. <laughs> money isn't always uh, that priority, you know, and especially when something is important as that. But, uh... Anyway, I had, used to have, like, it literally took me, like, six or seven minutes to drive to work before, and now, uh, now it's about 45 minutes, so, <clears throat> so it was a little bit of getting used to, it was, it's not so bad, but, uh, I work in the construction industry, and sometimes you got to be depending on certain jobs that you're assigned to, sometimes I have to be at job sites like really early, like, hey, they're gonna pour concrete at seven o'clock, or hey, they're gonna get started early, make sure you're there at six o'clock, and maybe the job site is like a half an hour, 45 minutes away from the shop. Well, I have to drive to the shop first to get the work truck and all that stuff, so it's like just extending out my day. But, uh, like, for instance, last Friday, <clears throat> last Friday I had to be at a job site at 6 a.m., and it was an hour and a half away from the shop, so I had, I was on, I was up in Adam at 3.30 a.m. just so I could make it to the shop on time to get the truck to drive the hour and a half to the job site. It was like, I saw, I saw two possums a deer and like three raccoons because they're all nocturnal animals so like when you're up and driving at 3 30 you know four o'clock a.m you see a lot of that wildlife and you got to be on your toes you can't you got to be really watching scanning the area so you're not creating roadkill um it's just the nature of the job really um so it's just you know, you have those those days sometimes where you check you check the schedule and you're just like, oh great, I guess I have to go to bed at like 8 p.m. tonight so I can be up super early so I don't screw up my sleep schedule too bad and be tired. But oh well, it's overtime. So anything with in my job is a union thing. So anything before 7 a.m. doesn't matter. It's 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 overtime. It's time and a half. So if I have to be at work at six, that one, with that one hour between six to seven is overtime. Regardless if it's a Monday or a Tuesday or a Friday, regardless of how many hours I've worked, it, overtime for us is a day by day thing. Anything before seven and anything after 3.30 is overtime, even if you've only worked one day out of the week. But anyway. Um, still getting over like I had a cold I was a little sick before I went to Indy the Indy 500 and I was fine I, I, I had just gotten over it before the Indy 500 and then now I got like it's almost like allergies but I don't know I mean I feel fine I'm just got a stuffy nose so I apologize for that <laughs> um, but anyway here we go we're just rambling this is making my commute much easier I think because when you're talking and gabbing and thinking about other stuff you're not thinking about how long you're, you're driving a little rainy today looking out on the horizon what do we got here looks clear to the west we're clear to the west looks pretty bad to the south 
I don't know what's going on this year with the weather. It is absolutely unbelievable. It was a crazy winter, frigid temps, quite a bit of snow. We had some late snowfalls. And then this year, I mean, we're already in June and it's still just raining and cold and I don't, I don't understand. It's really hurting the, um, my job, my jobs too. There's not a whole lot. We're not busy at all. Um, I don't know what's going on. It's really wild. I mean, is it ever going to get to like 90, 95 degrees and hot and dry? I mean, the farmers, I drive by a lot of cornfields and I'd say, I don't know, I'm just guessing. I'd say like not even 50% of the fields are even planted and that's that's not good if the farmers can't get in the field till June I mean they're gonna be harvesting in like December that's crazy it's not good so I don't know though I don't know what them farmers gonna do they're gonna have to get on out there in the mud Start treading through it. Get some bigger tires on them tractors. I don't think they can get any bigger tires on the tractors, to be honest. There's that guy that he's always out. He's got a couple of greyhounds. And he's always out walking his greyhound dogs. Ugh, the whole greyhound thing is pretty sad. They try to find homes for those greyhounds when after they're done. And, uh... They need a lot of exercise. If they don't get in much enough exercise, they have major issues. <clears throat> not only like physical issues, but those dogs will just get so depressed <laughs> if they're not running or walking a couple hours a day. So props to the people that take in old greyhounds and uh, kind of try to give them a good life. Anyway, but yeah, the uh, iRacing just had an update. Hey, we'll talk some sim racing. We'll talk some sim racing. I racing with the new update. I didn't get a chance yet to even read the uh, release notes. But the big thing was the Pro 2 and the Pro 4 trucks, which I messed around with. <laughs> Actually, my the latest, the two latest videos on my YouTube channel. By the time this uploads, hopefully I'll be able to upload this today throughout the day and I'll just roll as soon as it's ready I'll release it but by then there had been two videos from last night's stream of me messing around with the pro trucks at a wild what is it wild horse pass motorsports park where are they coming up with these names for these tracks wild horse pass motorsports park <laughs> uh, anyway I I really didn't know anything about these, this particular type of racing. Um, I've seen like the stadium trucks, which is totally different. I mean, that's on a, a tarmac, and there's, you know, it's it's diff, different type of racing than what we got. We got like dirt dirt trucks with jumps, and it's a lot of fun. The tracks are are a lot of fun. I've yet to try out like a rally cross car. Um, on the new tracks. I'm sure that would be a lot of fun. We did, I did try out the, these pro trucks at, I tried it at Bathurst and I, um, is that the only one? I don't know, but the, the problem is the trucks, they're not, the top end speed just isn't there. Even if you put the pro four truck on the highest, uh, the longest gear setting, it still only goes like 120 miles an hour so if we're gonna do any type of you know rally on road or trucks on road uh, series or fun hosted sessions we're gonna have to find like really small tracks um, scuba kind of jumps out at me as a pretty small track I don't know it's got that it's got a longer straightaway but that might work but we're gonna have to find some like really small tiny tracks for these trucks to go around if we want to do anything on tarmac <clears throat> but that'll be in the future i'm sure people will figure it out uh railroad tracks i never get stopped for a train oh, oh over the railroad tracks yeah there's never like any 
trains on that track. I don't know what time they run, but uh, anyway, it's 6.40. We got 20 minutes. We're looking good on time. <laughs> you get certain landmarks. Actually, I should be making my turn right here. It's 6.40. It's coming up. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, but yeah, so new content. Also, there is an update to the uh, headlights on like road cars at night tracks. And I have yet to see uh, what that's all about. I did see some people talking favorably about it on Twitter. They said, wow, thank you so much for um, fixing the headlights. I can actually see at night. <laughs> so uh, maybe even with certain tracks that aren't designed to race at night, now with the new headlights, it might, uh, might be pretty awesome so I'd have to check that out just I ain't got no time man but you know now that I'm working again it's like, I'm like, ah, like I wish I was home racing and checking stuff out and I feel like I'm missing out you know but it's just the way of the world really um, been streaming only like once a week so I gotta get into a better schedule of at least twice a week that's my goal is to at least stream twice a week and then maybe even throw in a quick Saturday morning stream. Uh, this part of my commute, I drive on the left side of the road so I can avoid this huge bump. I'm on the left side of the road and, oh, there it is, I missed it. It's a, it's a bridge and that one side of the road is horrible. Anyway, um, it's funny how people get into habits and routines. It's only been about a year I've been doing this commute and I and that's considering four or five months off in the winter. So really, it's only been six, maybe, I don't know, six or seven months that I've been doing this commute. It's funny how you pick up on things and get into a rhythm. And there's another set of railroad tracks that I never see trains on. But we're definitely in the back roads now. Uh... No one's coming. Okay, go. Okay, I'm going. No one's around. There's a guy in front of me. But anyway. <clears throat> uh, oh, uh, 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 so yeah. So I figured let's do this. Uh, let's do like a little podcast. I don't know what. I mean, I guess you're just rambling. I guess we can get into like certain topics for certain times. I mean, I guess you guys could do like uh, you know maybe ask me you know, pose some topics on Twitter. Um, but otherwise, I'm just going to talk about whatever is on my mind, I guess, and kind of go from there. Um, you know, it's not it's not always going to be about sim racing. It's just going to be about whatever. But if you guys have any uh, topics you want me to discuss, like life topics, I mean, uh, you know, just whatever. You know, I, I don't know about y'all, but... I, I listen to some different types of podcasts. Most of the podcasts that I listen to, there's a guest. So there's two people on the podcast, so they're talking to each other. <clears throat> you know, so um, it's a little bit different with me just talking into the camera. But, uh, excuse me. <clears throat> but yeah, um, so let me know what you guys think. And I know that the road noise is probably pretty bad, so this will be like, uh, this hopefully will be the worst Malone's Commute Podcast. I came up with that name, I don't know, it might be kind of dumb, we'll see what sticks. And the idea is to make this easy on myself, so the idea is just to record the podcast on the way to work, as soon as I'm done, just start uploading it, because it's going to be a while. So hopefully by like noon or like one o'clock or sometime during the day, it'll finally have been uploaded. And then I can just do it all from my phone. So I've already made a thumbnail and it'll just be the same thumbnail that I use. And I'll just name it. You know, the title will have the what number podcast it is. Um, so just so I don't have, I don't want to edit anything. I don't want to render anything out. I don't want to have to make a custom thumbnail for each one. I just want to have it all said and done during work 
so I don't even have to mess around with it to make it easy as I possibly can so the majority of it is just me talking in front of a camera and then that's it you know so um, I'm not looking to to add to my workload or anything uh, so that's the idea but uh, yeah also um, so I got that so if you guys don't know the the four play racing rig that I got and hooked up and yesterday was the first stream uh, with that new rig and uh, and I the, the last thing I gotta do is I'm so close I'm so close is convert my Fanatic Porsche rim the RSR Porsche rim over to the new VRS Direct Force Pro wheelbase I got the adapter and everything and uh, so I'm working on that. I cut the ground wire for the uh, the rim when I was taking it apart. I cut the ground wire just because it was easier. But then now it seemed easier at the time to cut that wire. But now I just gotta. That's the hard. That's gonna be take the longest. Is I just gotta clean up that wire and re-splice it and then hook it up and should be good to go. I mean I'm really close another half an hour or so on it and I should be good so I'm gonna try to do that tonight and uh, get that going because I think if you guys have seen the streams or seen any of the the videos I got that uh, Thrustmaster rim on that direct force wheel direct drive wheel and uh, it's just I'm not used to it I don't like it it's too narrow it's too small there's not enough buttons on it so um, once I get my Porsche rim on there, I'm going to be real happy with that. There's probably a lot of extra road noise because the the road is wet. And this is a back road, so I'm going a little bit quicker than I should be. But, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm sure this audio sucks. But anyway. <laughs> so, yeah, the rig is coming together, man. It's And then I'm going to make a review video for the VRS Direct Force Pro direct drive wheel try to get that going it's a really nice it's a really nice base I mean if you're looking for a direct drive wheel and Fanatic Fanatic just increased their price of the podium series to like $1,200 and I don't think that counts and that's not taxes and that's not shipping so you can imagine you, you're going to be spending you know damn near $1,300 $1,400 and then if you don't have a rim, you're going to have to get a rim. Anyway, so, I mean, look into the VRS. I mean, their, their price point's right at 1000 I'm not sure if that comes with a rim or not, though. And I don't, they're not selling them yet. So if you got some time and you're still on the fence about it, you know, give it some time. Wait till your options open up. It's always best to have more options to choose from, especially when you're making a purchase like that. And look, you know, full uh, full transparency, VRS did send me the uh, wheelbase for free that I can have and take a look at and review. And uh, so I am I am coming from a little bit of a biased opinion there, but I've tried the Fanatic ones. The Fanatic Podium Series is a great option, no doubt about it. All-in-one, plug-and-play. Fanatic's got a great ecosystem of rims. <clears throat> you can't go wrong. But, you know, there are other, there's other options out there. Uh, SimuCube. I believe I just heard that SimuCube is now shipping worldwide. Could be wrong on that. But I think I'm right. Um, so that's another option. Uh, so, yeah, just... And then the VRS one, there's a lot of direct drive wheels coming out onto the market from a lot of different companies. And it's good as a consumer to have options. So just take a look at everything before you buy. Because you don't want buyer's remorse. Or you don't want to do what a lot of people do. And what I do included is if I'm going to go buy something, like I'll look around for a little bit and I'll get excited about something and then I'll buy it. And then I'll get it home. And then I'll continue to watch like YouTube video reviews or, or stuff like that, like confirming that it's a good product. 
and that, that I made a good choice. <laughs> but if you've already looked at all the research, you, you would know that already. So you wouldn't have to worry about that. But uh, <laughs> that's just the way that goes sometimes. Anyway, uh, 25 minutes right now. Yeah, we're getting there. Um, I'm actually running a little late, to be honest. I'm probably driving a little bit slower than I usually would. Yeah, so anyway, I'll, I'll wrap this up. I don't want to make it too long as the first one you guys listen to me rambling with horrible audio. Like I said, I'll try to get the, I, I'll try to work out the audio. I'll take a listen. I'm sure it's not great, but um, if we can figure out the audio, I think we'll be good. I think as far as safety-wise, I think I'm safe. Like, I've been paying attention as, as, as if someone's in the passenger. Uh, you know, I'm not looking at the camera. You know, I'm... I'm if my hands on nine and three, I'm up, got good posture, you know? And uh, so yeah, I'm looking around, I'm scanning the area, situational awareness, using my turn signals, double checking left and right, left and right, shoulder checking, doing this, doing that, you know, making sure, you know, there's no animals running out, you know, taking a look, scanning the, uh, not only scanning the, tra the, not the track, scanning the road, but also scanning, you know, off the road, you know, make sure there's not like a moose going to come out and, and ram me, you know. You don't want that. You don't want any carnage with a moose. The, 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 a moose versus a car, car always loses. So don't get into that situation. <laughs> Unbelievable. So I'm going to start my day. I hope you guys have a wonderful day today. And if you, maybe you'll listen to this on your way home from work, you know, so, um, so yeah, maybe this is a thing, maybe it's not, maybe I try it for a while, then I, it peters out, but I'm telling you, I got this time, I got a phone, I got internet, I might as well do it, right? And if it if it's kind of therapeutic for me uh, to get things off my chest and to, and to talk, you know, we can talk about anything, so we can get into the deep meanings of life if you want. So if you want, you can pose topics, uh, maybe just like at me on Twitter, it's at Matt Malone TV on Twitter. And uh, subscribe to the channel if you want. And uh, I do have an Instagram. And I'm an old man trying out Instagram. And I've been trying to do that. The problem is it's always only on your phone. You can't, I can't like post stuff on my computer. So it'd be nice to like post like clips and stuff on my computer. But anyway, so follow me on Instagram. It's Matt Malone TV. Everything is Matt Malone TV. Like the YouTube, the Twitter, and the Instagram. And then uh, the Twitch is... Uh, just Matt Malone. Uh, so check it out, guys. I'm going to end it here. Have a great day. Be safe out there. And uh, yeah, this has been number one Malone's Commute Podcast. Latest.